let's move on to the next question see this question please find it in your practice manual first then we'll move ahead i hope you all have found it out the sum let's read the sum first the data relating to two companies are as given below company a and company b equity capital 6 lakhs equity capital of company b is 3 lakh 50 12 percent debentures of company a is 4 lakhs and company b is 6 lakh 50 thousand output per annum output per annum is 60 thousand for company a and 15 thousand for company b selling price of the output is 30 rupees for company a and 250 rupees for company b fixed cost per annum for company a is 7 lakhs and for company b is 14 lakhs variable cost per un per unit for company a is rupees 10 and company b is rupees 75000 so what we need to find out we are required to calculate the operating leverage financial leverage and combined leverage of the two companies so out of this two companies i am doing company a you all do company a and b both you all copy company a first but how to solve the sum in exam i'll just show you all once i'll i'll not be solving company b but i'll make a format for that okay this is question number 6 pm page you all write and write the specific question number that is in your practice manual okay uh so what they have asked us firstly we'll make the format particulars company a and company b i hope you all have not thought of making two different tables because it will consume lot of time in exam and time is constraint in exam okay we'll write sales less variable cost contribution less fixed cost ebit less interest we get ebt a question has not given us with any tax so we don't need to calculate tax and we come uh, in the question does not ask us to find out eps so no need of going further we can end it till year only okay so sales is how we'll find out sales output into selling price so how much is the output of company a output of company a is 60000 and selling price is 30 rupees it comes to rupees 1 lakh sorry 18 lakhs variable cost is rupees 10 so variable cost will be equal to output into variable cost which is equal to 60000 into 10 which is equal to rupees 6 lakhs less it comes to contribution comes to rupees 12 lakhs fixed cost is given in the question that is 7 lakhs ebit will be equal to 5 lakhs how will calculate interest see your debenture rate or rate of debenture is 12% so 12% into 4 lakhs is equal to 48000 okay 48000 So I'm writing it over here. Four lakhs into twelve percent, which is equal to forty-eight lakhs, and EB T is equal to four lakh fifty-two thousand. Okay. So we'll now calculate operating leverage, financial leverage, and combined leverage. Here the question does not specify what you have to find. Here the Question is specifying only to find out static formula. That is, if if they have asked you to find out dynamic formula, they would have specifically written you are required to calculate degree of operating leverage, degree of financial leverage, degree of combined leverage. So they have not written. So there is no need of finding out degree or uh, the dynamic formula of all the three measures. Okay. You all simply find out the static formula. That's it. Do not show your smartness in exam by solving both the formulas. Okay, I hope this is quite clear. Operating leverage is equal to contribution divided by EBIT. 
which is equal to contribution is how much 12 lakhs EBIT is equal to 5 lakhs which comes to 12 divided by 2.4 times operating leverage is 2.4 times second financial leverage is equal to EBIT divided by EBT EBIT is how much 5 lakhs EBT is equal to 4 lakh 52,000 so we will find it out 5 lakhs divided by 4 lakh 52,000 it comes to 1.1062 times now we need to find out combined leverage how we will find out combined leverage there is two formula not dynamic static and dynamic two formulas of combined leverage are operating leverage into financial leverage or contribution upon EBT I prefer to solve with this formula why because we have already calculated so 2.4 times into 1.1062 times it comes to 2.659 times approx hope this is quite clear so please pause the video and copy this much and one more thing I want you all to know write company A for this and company B when you calculate the company B measures ok so copy the remaining part solve the company B part on your own on the next page ok pause the video and now let's move on to the next question next question I am not going to solve because this is very simple question they have provided you with every information and you have to just put that information in the formula and find out the result ok the following summaries the percentage change in operating income percentage change in revenue and the betas for four farm para pharmaceutical firms the uh, the following 